So guys, welcome to rapid review of manwas I read in January. I'll be going over all the manwa I checked out in January and my thoughts about them. Starting off with Legend of the Northern Blade. This uh, manwa is basically about a sect that was basically abandoned by everyone that it protected and loved, which led to ex extinction and leaving only the sect leader's son to revive the whole sect again. And the sect leader's son was armed with all the martial arts knowledge from memorizing it as a kid. So using that knowledge to try to bring everything back again. I really enjoyed the art, the underdog story from going from the weak uh, son of the sect leader to buff Chad, sect leader of the Northern Boy. So pretty good under underdog story. Next up is I killed an academy player. This one was about a guy that got sucked into the game he was playing, but he was sucked in as the NPC. So he couldn't do anything important. I had to leave it to the main character of the video game to carry the game to its end. So he can go back home but the main character was actually Yvonne was killing everyone and even killed him which made him regress and after he regressed he knew he needed to kill the main character before he became strong so he killed him before he became strong and he became the new main character of that video game so very confusing but the art is great and the combination of the transmigration and regression concept was also pretty good so it's gonna be a pretty enjoyable read next up is i used to be a boss this one's basically about bach format which used to be dungeon boss on the highest tower so if you know so leveling dungeon level there's the highest dungeon there's the lowest dungeon to the highest dungeon bach format was basically the last level of a video game and he was pretty bored everyone he was beating everyone so he wanted to be a human after getting his hands on an iphone or an android it's probably an android iphone sucks so it's probably got an android and he now wants to become a human because androids are cool and he wants to enjoy it and other human stuff so he prays to god to become a human and becomes a human and while he's a human he's now ironically just going after dungeon bosses which he used to be so i like the reverse storytelling the dungeon boss is now the guy that's trying to save the world by destroying dungeons so it's like like a reverse story which is pretty cool so i like that concept next up is the heavenly demon cannot live a normal life this one's about uh, a divine demon ten thousand years ago he was the strongest guy after going through lots of hardships and mastered the highest level of martial arts but he magically gets reincarnated ten thousand years ago son of a king using that son's authority he now aims to become that divine god he was 10,000 years ago and gained oil servants and built his demon empire again. So it's a pretty, pretty interesting world building story. I usually don't like Murim and this one and Legend of Northern Boy just didn't have as much build explanation, which really throws me off when reading Murim that I enjoyed it. The fights were pretty crisp and I see myself reading Northern Boy all the way and this one too. I just like the ability progression. Next up is still eating player the name says it all. He eats still and he gets stronger and he regrets. So another cliche aspect. He knows everything that's gonna happen and he eats still, gets strong and beats it. It reminds me of Eat by Growing Stronger, which was another great manga that ended pretty badly. I just didn't like the ending. So this is um, what I'm hoping basically be the better version of it. Right now, it just feels like a generic piece of trash, but. We'll see. And lastly is Genius of Un Unique Lineage. This one's about being the son of two supernaturals and both of these abilities have their own pros and cons and the main character has both abilities so he uses both abilities to complement the weaknesses and benefits of each of the different abilities. So it just has a lot of ability dynamics I like and the main character really uses it to fight people that come through gates. Uh, I enjoyed reading the mainly for the ability aspects. And that's pretty much it for my rapid review. Uh, show me what you think in the comments and peace.